we brought uh, speakers from everywhere to Payne. I think my greatest, well, at least my biggest surprise of who uh, I was unable to bring to Payne was Desmond Tutu, um, who came and was commencement speaker. And although we graduated maybe 110 students, we had 6,000 people in the audience. Uh, I would say 3,000 of whom came because Tutu was there. But, uh, Do you so remember what year that was? <sighs> Was it in the 90s or the 2000s? It was in the 2000s. It was in I wrote uh, um, Archbishop Tutu, he was at uh, Emory, Candler, and I asked him to be our commencement speaker and I wrote him a letter about what it would mean in a school like Payne. And this, his staff person called and said the bishop regrets that he cannot come because he has another obligation. And then about three days later Tutu called and said, do you still want me to come? Because he had read my letter. And I had a, tr I had a trust, if you can get me there and get me back, I have to be in it wherever he had to be that day. And I happened to have asked a man in Augusta who had a lot of money. I don't even know how I met him, but anyway, we went to, to dinner a couple of times, or lunch a couple of times, and I asked him would he be on my board. And uh, he said yes. And shortly after being on that board, he wrote a check for $100,000. So I thought if he had $100,000, he could probably get Tutu back where he needed to go. And he said, you know, I have, a, I have an airplane. So he picked up Tutu in Atlanta, flew him to commencement, and flew him back. And uh, when, du when uh, Archbishop Tutu left, he said, uh, you didn't tell me you had an airplane. <laughs> I said, Bishop, I don't have an airplane. But anyway, Lou Rawls came, Cicely Tyson, um, and On what, other occasions. Yeah, for various uh, meetings. And what, what I discovered was that if I asked them, they came. So, you know, that uh, around Augusta, I had this reputation as, you know, just, just going and get people. It wasn't that simple. But again, I think it was the, my, my life of moving around.